Hey, do you like the morning jog series? Do you want to watch more of it? Click this link right here. It'll be more of me, more info, more news. Eh, maybe you'll laugh. Hi folks, Alex Klingelhafer here with Exential Wealth Advisors. It's 8.05 here in the middle part of the country on Thursday. It's June 10th, 2021. Here's your morning jog around the economic headlines of the world. CPI data is the big story of the day. Here in the U.S., prices are up about 5% year over year. Now, this has, of course, been really the biggest economic data point of the, the week perhaps even the month, and it came in a little bit higher than expected. Prices rose 5% year over year, about a half percent month over month. Of course, the Fed's been for months signaling, hey, inflation is transitory. We're going to be here for a little bit. Here is the thing, that if you are concerned about inflation, you need to be watching. It, it's absolutely critical. You need to be watching shipping rates. Sounds pretty, pretty straightforward, right? The reason why is because if you're watching shipping rates, you know how much it costs for goods to travel around the world. Of course, we've talked about container rates surging. We've talked about that in past videos. We've talked about dry bulk. Here, dry bulk's up another 5% overnight. Look at this chart. I mean, it's going stratospheric, really. It's just going up and up and up. If you understand global shipping, if you understand what's going on with the rates of getting goods across the world, you understand how fast the economy is running. It's really the most cyclical industry. It's really, if, if you're investing, it's really just for folks with really high risk tolerances, right? We don't recommend shipping companies. Our clients are just too risky to, to invest in over a long period. Most of them lose money, but rates do tend to spike up and signal changes in the underlying economy. If you're watching shipping rates, you know that cost of goods to transport goods has gone up around the world. Inflation is going up as shipping rates come down. Of course, part of that is new ships being built, right? Because supply and demand of ships as shipping rates come down, I would expect to see overall inflation in the economy coming down. Here's a stock that's benefiting from the inflation narrative, benefiting from commodity prices, it's Cleveland Cliffs. It's also benefiting from a meme stock mania. It's sort of going up and up. And as you can see, look at uh, look at this volume here in the bottom right. It's, it had like what three uh, three million three billion shares traded yesterday, something like that. And uh, you know, up another twenty percent here in the pre market as the inflation narrative is making its way through those retail channels. Again, if you're trading these, please be careful. We're not recommending them. We really rarely recommend cyclical stocks or highly cyclical stocks that don't have entrenched moats because they do this, right? They go from $2 to $20 and then they go back to $2. And that's really not a great experience over the long term when we're thinking about investing 10 to 20 years. Be very careful if you're looking into these highly cyclical names. Yes, there are some underlying fundamentals that are very good right now, but they are short term, right? Think of 12 to 18 month jumps in price and jumps in commodity prices. And that's sort of when they make their money for the entire decade. That's how cyclicals work. They get all of their returns in really small periods. The returns are what we call in the industry very lumpy. Last but not least, before we get you off to a nice Thursday, the G7 is meeting and they're talking about getting electric cars to outnumber petrol and diesel powered cars by the end of the decade, by 2030, and what economic incentives they may have to provide, what limits they may have to provide to get that done. Now, if they decide on that as a global policy, the demand for metals will continue to accelerate. There's tons of copper, there's tons of lithium, there's tons of cobalt that is needed for these new calls, cars, excuse me, we're seeing some talks of a commodity super cycle on a go forward basis. I would just hold our horses at this time. Of course, it is an important trend to be 
thinking about the electrification of the car fleet and what that does to metals at this time. It's a little bit early doors for me. If you want some additional information on commodities, on shipping, on all of these things, feel free to follow me on Twitter. It's OKCCFACFP. Until then, I am out. Hey, thanks for watching The Morning Jog. I, I appreciate it. If you did enjoy the video, why don't you click down here, subscribe, and you'll get to see me every day, whether you jog or not. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you have something you want to hear me talk about, uh, we got comment section down below. Why don't you uh, click there, write something, and maybe we'll feature it tomorrow. Thanks.